Ola, Scorpio, Sun, Cancer, Moons. Welcome to your 2020 Sun Moon reading. When you view it is when you were meant to see it. It doesn't matter the time of year. I'm doing these in order of requests in the comments, so be sure to post yours up. And while you're waiting for yours to get done, check out your 2019 Sun Moon readings that are in my playlist still. First portion of this reading, we'll look at your traits of your Sun Moon combination. I'll lay out the main cards. We'll take a quick look at your 2020. Second portion of this reading will be the link below to the Vimeo reading where I'll have a deeper interpretation of the cards with clarifiers. I'll be dividing the year up into four separate sectors. So let's see what's going on with your combination. So you all know exactly what you're doing and you know exactly who you are. You have a lot of self-assurance, you know your own worth, so you're not gonna let anyone screw you over. Um, you do have a mysteriousness about you, and usually it's hard for colleagues and friends, sometimes even family, to understand your inner being. Um, but the thing is, they're, they'll follow you anywhere. So something about that mystery, and they're like, ooh, like they think it's really cool. So yeah, it's a good thing. Um, <laughs> You do have, um, they, it, it's, it's elusive to them and they, it's almost like they want what you have. Like they, in that mystery, they're like, Ooh, it's like really, I don't want to say sexy, but they like that. But they also, you have an incredible like charisma and you have this inner strength and you're very, it's just everything about your combination. They want what you have. I guess that's a good way of putting that. They wish they were more like you. Okay. Um, you are really lucky and so this causes you to be successful in a lot of areas you're very smart you have a lot of strength you have a lot of appeal a lot of this works for you in life um you're calm you don't use your balance you're a very balanced individual uh good with your temper okay i wouldn't i wouldn't think that's for like the, a water combination but you guys can definitely keep things in in um you know in balance like i said and temper yourself you're very good at acting, so you can adapt to any conditions or any situation. This makes you comfortable, actually, in any kind of situation like that. Um, you can be a little bit, be, like to be alone, a little bit of a loner because you rely on yourself. You have a lot of independence. You only need yourself to comfort yourself. Um, you like to keep a certain distance from people. That doesn't mean that you're, you know, detached or aloof. It just means that, you know, you don't like to get into the catacombs of, you know, another person's psyche or what have you. You just like to keep your distance. Um, you, one of the, I mean, some of the careers that you all would be good in, anything in regards to science, anything in regards to medicine, things in regards to religion, actually. Um, you guys have, uh, I was gonna say powers to like restore and cure things, okay? So that was the medicine whole, you know, religion, clergy kind of thing. Um, you don't have a lot of psychological issues, okay? The only thing is that sometimes you all have a tendency to, um, you know, if, if somebody has something, if you have beliefs or something, you tend to suppress them instead of just, you know, talking about them openly. Revealing yourself to other people to to be studied isn't easy for you because you all you all are very uh, vulnerable in regards to this combination. Um, make sure you tend to your feelings. Like I said, make sure you're open in regards to your feelings. Otherwise, you can, you can really get a sick heart because of it. Um, you can be a little cynical. You can be a little bit depressed, a little bit sad. Let your guard down from time to time. Everyone's not out to get you. It's okay to be vulnerable. You all can be very successful at whatever you determine you want to do because you're very clever. Deep imagination that you have. Um, and when you guys get into something, you're very absorbed and you're very committed. So you usually succeed at it. Okay? So let's see what's going on for Scorpio Sun Cancer Moons for the year 2020. Holy Spirit Angels, my guys, universe. Can you please find your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, and your insight for Scorpio, Sun, Cancer, Moons for the year 2020? What do you see? What do you need to know? To reach your higher ground, become closer to the universe. For the greater good, any messages you have for Scorpio, Sun, Cancer, Moons will be greatly appreciated for the year 2020. What do you see? What do they need to know? What do you see? January, February, March, Scorpio, Sun, Cancer, Moons. What do you see? need to know January February March we have the king of swords in the reversed okay 
And then keep in mind if this reading resonates, consider a personal reading. My rates, my info are below. They aren't below. So send me an email and we could work it out. I don't, I don't have them below for the sun moon readings, I don't believe. Um, just send me an email. Okay, five of swords in reverse for April, May, June. Also, ask me a question on Instant Go. Check me out on Facebook. Check me out on Insta. Six of Cups are reversed for July, August, September. Like, share, subscribe, and or donate. Link below. Be greatly appreciated in support of these readings. It would take me a hell of a long time to do them. Alrighty, Page of Wands in reverse for October, November, December. Alrighty. Um, okay, January, February, March, I'm trying to understand if this is an individual or if this is an energy. I'm getting more than it's an individual. I feel like this is a person that you're dealing with, and I think that this person knows you're sensitive and you're vulnerable, and they're taking full advantage of that. Um, King of Swords in Reverse can be a little bit of a meanie, and he can be someone who tries to manipulate a situation by using his smarts to do it, his intellect to do it. Use a lot of mind games. Either that or he'll put you on, under a lot of pressure to do his bidding. And when they say things is not very nice, they can be cutting. They can, they can really, really cut to the bone. Um, and I feel like this person knows that they can, they, they can affect you. I, th I think that's how I'm trying to make this sound and or seem. And it could be a colleague, a family member. Don't go right for the romantic relationships for this. Um, it could be anybody. And they know they affect you. I'm getting that. They know, they, they feel like they know how to push your buttons or they know how to hurt you. Um, and, and, and they can, like I said, they can get you to do what they want or they can manipulate you in some fashion because they have the ability to do this. Now, I see in April, May, June, I, I, and I'm, I don't want this to happen but I'm going to ask, say, I, I think you, whatever the deal is you have with this person, you guys put it behind you. So you're done fighting. You've forgiven each other. You've forgiven this person. Been like, okay, this happened in the past. Let's not fight anymore. I don't want to fight anymore. I feel like it's you. Possibly the other person, the other person telling you this, but not necessarily. I don't know. I, I just get a weird feeling that forgiveness happens just, just because somebody doesn't want to fight anymore. They're kind of done with it or someone doesn't want to get hurt anymore says, you know what, let's just, let's just put this in the past. I don't want to do this anymore. Um, but then I see in July, August, Septem September, having feelings about this person again. Um, again, it doesn't have to be romantic, but just like having nostalgia and thinking about the memories that you have. And you, because of this, because of the past history that you have with this person, um, reconsidering things but I feel like this person I mean you know leopards don't change their spots I feel like that's what it's like and I feel like you're wanting to kind of get back together with this person or connect with them um, I mean here it's like let's bygones be bygones but here you're longing for this person either either to have a relationship with them or the connection that you did have um, or to connect with them I feel like here you guys aren't connected. You decide, okay, let's be done. Let's not fight anymore. Let's just kind of go our separate ways. And here you're longing to have this connection with them again because of the memories, because of the past. But I see in October, November, December, you might attempt to do this or you might try to connect with them. And, and they're being the same way that they were back here, but just in a different way. They don't want to hear what you have to say. They're being mean. They're not communicating with you. Um... You know, you kind of come at them. And I don't know. I get like a smugness with this in terms of communication. So I don't kind of like where this is going. So, I mean, if you come upon this in 2020, you know, maybe you should deal with this in a better way. And I always say with these readings, even if they're negative, hope for the best, plan for the worst, and exercise your free will. It doesn't have to go this way if you don't want, to, want it to, you know. These readings are kind of tipping you off to what's most likely to happen. And when you come upon it, you can say, okay, well, this is what I'm going to do. And you can have a plan in place, all right? So if this resonates, consider personal reading. Send me an email. Check out your 2019 sun, moon readings while they're still up. Ask me a question on Instant Go. Um, check me out on Facebook.